Hello, my name's Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars. This is another biofuel vehicle we've got for sale. It's uh, a Volvo S60 SE with the winter pack fitted. It's a factory fit LPG vehicle, registered on a 2004 plate, uh, registered the 6th of December 2004. We sold this vehicle ooh, nearly three years ago to a customer and he just part exchanged it back for another LPG vehicle. So just to show you what a factory fit Volvo looks like, very rare these. Volvo go to the trouble of uh, including the gas filler behind the petrol flap, so that's obviously the petrol filler and that's a little dust cap for the LPG filling. Got distinctive biofuel badging on the rear. And it also comes with some proper Volvo heavy duty floor mats which we're yet to, yet to clean and underneath here as with most biofuel vehicles there is no spare and Volvo actually redesigned the chassis so there's no spare wheel well instead as well as giving you some adapters to fill up on the continent they give you an electric tyre pump to uh, reseal any puncture uh, to your tyres there's also a, a net there in order to carry anything the rear back seats drop down so you can turn it into quite a large boot area should you want to um, being the SE it's very luxurious so it gets wood trim on the top of the uh, doors uh, leather inserts, full black leather seats with three rear inertia seat belts and obviously a rear centre armrest as well. Airbags all over the car as you expect from a, a Volvo. Driver's door card, all four electric windows, the front two being one shot, heated electric wing mirrors that's to lock all the doors and to isolate the other electric windows. Remote central locking. Driver's seat has got uh, it's electrically adjusted and operated, and with three position memory setting as well, which is rather useful. And as you can see, there are no rips or tears to any of the leather, and we've got some proper Volvo over floor mats, as well as those heavy duty rubber mats as well. So looking around the inside of this Volvo, I say we've got uh, front passenger airbag, side impact protection airbags in the sides of the seats, as well as a rear C pillar air curtain, a B pillar air curtain bag as well. So very safe vehicles. Being the SE, get lots of extras. Get the uh, obligatory cup holder. It's a six CD player, so you're loading six CDs. Uh, it's like an auto changer all the normal uh, hi-fi controls as you'd expect um, automatic climate control for both the driver and the front passenger so no more arguments as to it being too hot or too cold they're uh, dual uh, climate zones this also benefits from uh, electrically folding wing mirrors and we have reversing sensors that are in the back bumper traction control which is standard and that's the LPG switch and a small power point so there's no cigarette pack fitted to this car heated leather seats you can either have all the seat heated in the front or just the base and then the base and the back so it works well everything works on the car we have uh, cruise control just here and also a handy system on the steering wheel to control the sound system as well there are two keys with the vehicle they're both these large lozing shaped ones that's rather useful at night if you press the yellow switch it illuminates the side lights and the lights underneath the wing mirrors so you can find the car in a dark place I'll just start the car now as you'll see that beeping is telling me to put my seat belt on just turn the air conditioning off now when that light's flashing, it's warming up on petrol, it's now flicked over to LPG. So when it's gone out, it's running on LPG or to gas. The level of the gas tank is measured on this one fuel gauge. So it's uh, nearly out of LPG. And to determine how much petrol you have, by turning the stalk here, we have a series of uh, squares to show you how much petrol is left in the car. As with all Volvos, if you press the end of the stalk, 
it gives you messages as to bulbs that are blown or any problem or issue with the car. So there's no messages. And we guarantee the mileage there, 81,012 miles. And this will be a little bit higher over the next few weeks because I shall be using this vehicle myself. We have day running lights, so they come on all the time every time you start up, and that can be dialed out by Volvo, should you wish to not have the headlights on all the time. And it also has uh, automatic windscreen wipers. So there's a sensor up near the uh, rear view mirror, and obviously when that's depressed, as soon as it starts to rain, the wipers will, will come on on their own. And the rear view mirror is also a automatic one, so it automatically dips, should you be dazzled in the rear. Sumptuous cars, very comfortable to drive. Everything works on the vehicle. Um, backed up by a full service history too. Lots of very nice quality feel cubby holes. I've got a little cup holder there for the rear passengers and you press it again, it's another small cubby hole. They really are lovely cars to live with and very rare being a factory fit dual fuel as well. So looking at the documents we have a uh, locking wheel nut key here to uh, remove the locking wheel nut from the wheels. Um, all the documents here, all the manuals, even the supplements for the Volvo, the biofuel supplement, along with uh, another one there concerning the tyre sealing equipment. All the manuals, like I said, along with its service history book. And I'll just show you the service history. So it was serviced there at 11 miles which would have been the PDI on the 6th of uh, December 2004 next at 13 uh, 1300 miles after three months and then it was serviced at 8000 miles next at 15 and before we sold the vehicle we had it serviced at 24,000 miles my Sturgis is in Leicester and then our customer had it serviced again at 51 65 and last at 79,000 miles on the 20th of August this year, 2010. So the next service is due at 89,000 or the 20th of August 2011. And at this last service he had the timing belts, tensioner pulley, uh, idler pulleys, the water pump and alternator drive belts were replaced. So big service. So the uh, nothing due as regards the maintenance or the camshaft uh, timing belts have already been done. So its first keeper when we acquired the car was uh, BP Car Finance and then we sold it to uh, a gentleman in Scotland. It's classified as an alternative fuel car and registered, there we go, alternative fuel car and registered as a gas by fuel as a fuel type. And just to show you the current MOT, which runs out the 6th of December 2010. But of course, if it gets near that date, we will happily re-MOT the vehicle again. So looking around the Volvo, the only thing I can criticise it on are the alloy wheels. They have been repainted at some point, and some of this second layer of paint is starting to flake off. All the discs are good, so they've been replaced not that long ago. It's been such a heavy car, they can get through brake discs. As you can see, there are no dents, there are no dinks to it at all. There's just another one of the wheels that's uh, just losing its paint. Reversing sensors, fitted from new, which work. Show you the alloy wheel. Looking down the sides, we don't have any chips or dents. This alloy wheel is quite uh, badly flaking. It wouldn't cost too much to get these refurbished. And uh, we can certainly discuss that when you come to look at the vehicle. There are no chips to the windscreen. It is currently taxed, as we will uh, be using it ourselves. It has power headlamp washers, so when you wash the windscreen, it automatically basically washes the front of the car, but uh, it jets onto the headlights. Great looking car, good tyres all round full service history. I think you'd be hard pressed to find another one of these because they are getting harder and harder to find. And under the current congestion charge rules, these are exempt from the London congestion charge. So if you have any more questions about this or any of our LPG or hybrid vehicles, 
feel free to give me, Jonathan, a call. Thanks for watching.